I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. So last week on The Rough Draft Diaries, we were traveling among the stars, and this week we are traveling back in time, visiting the Wood County Historical Center and Museum. My name is Holly Hartle Road, and I am the curator of the Wood County Historical Center. My name is Kelly Kling, and I am the director of the Wood County Historical Center and Museum. The title director is a new position for Kelly. She was the marketing and events coordinator for 15 years, creating fundraiser, educational, and public events on top of marketing the museum as a space with new, exciting exhibits. And those exhibits are monitored and created by Holly as the museum curator. Um, I plan three years out, and it's because there are 17 rooms that I need to put exhibits in. We used to do period rooms and those are somewhat antiquated so we um, we come up with yearly thematic exhibits so we have we actually are telling two stories with our mission one the story of the county home and then the other um, the stories of Wood County because people in the community donate objects and so we look at those objects and how are we going to use them and interpret them in order to create exhibits and then from that educational programming and specific events because you know we have a lot of really great history History and a lot of objects that we can use to tell that story. And so really it's my job to look at what we have and how are we going to use it. We'll get to some of those exhibits in just a moment, but first I want to touch on something Holly just mentioned, that the mission of the Center and Museum is twofold. To one, tell the story of Wood County, but also to tell the story of the physical building that the museum inhabits. Well, our building actually opened in 1869 and operated as the former Wood County Poor Farm, which is a public charity institution. And the idea was to operate as a working poor farm. But in fact, the reality of it became the elderly and people with developmental disabilities ended up living here and therefore they could not necessarily work that farm. So they changed the name from Poor Farm to Infirmary in 1853 and essentially it is the predecessor to the modern day nursing home. In 1969, a new modern facility was created for the individuals being housed at the infirmary. Conveniently, at the same exact time, the Wood County Historical Society, which was created in 1955, was looking for a new building. So in 1973, the society inhabited this historic space, which was once the Wood County Poor Farm. And the building doesn't let you forget it. At one point during our tour, we're outside on the porch, and you can see names sketched into the brick walls. There's Jack. (laughs) So Jack over here, and then this is 1937. It looks like someone was trying to... Maybe figure out... Figure out a year or something. Yeah, interesting. So the exhibits are going to change periodically to always bring in those new topics, mm-hmm. but there are those little nuances about the building itself, like Holly's pointing out the bricks that have the etching in them on the outside porch, the east wing stairs, how they're all curved in the center, and those are due to all of the men's shoes that went up and down those stairs for a hundred years. Those little things are never going to change, and that's part of the architecture of the building. So cool. It's great. All right, we'll sneak back in here. Yes. So there's the history of the physical building, and then, of course, the history found within the building in each exhibit. The two main exhibits currently on display revolve around World War I. There's the life of leisure in Wood County, noting the return to normalcy between the World Wars, that's 1920 to 1939, and then the World War I exhibit called Over There. Send word, the Wood County boys are coming. You can see uniforms, medals, photos, weapons, posters. There's a recreation of a World War I trench and a victory garden. It's all aimed at connecting museum goers with the life of the people who came before them. And a lot of people ask, well, why, you know, if you're a local history museum, why do you have an exhibit on World War I? Well, World War I absolutely impacted Wood County, as it did every place. And I like that concept of taking a big picture and something that, that globally was significant to everyone and then honing in on what made it unique to this place and so what types of activities were happening in Wood County during World War One, and who was impacted and that's the who part of it those stories again those storytelling people love to come here and tell stories so they really enjoy when we can tell stories too about some of those people that served in World War One and how that affected Wood County and again it sort of fosters that whole aspect of storytelling. The Wood County Historical Center and Museum believe storytelling is the key to keeping the museum alive 
and the history of this area alive as well. We want to be an asset to the community and have the community understand that history is not something that happened and then there's this line in the sand. Everything builds upon one another and if we're able to capture one or two elements and get people to perhaps think about something a little bit different or think, wow, I never really associated something of the past with something that I currently do, then I think we've been very successful in our job because unfortunately like people have this idea that history is a series of names and dates and history really is its living. You know, and we are continuing the story of those who lived. And you're adding to that story by your, you know, your current living. And so I think that when people see that relationship, it's, it's a lot more impactful than um, just here's a bunch of, you know, here's a bunch of pictures and here's some dates and here's some stuff. That doesn't mean anything to people. But when you're, when you're showing that how that's impacting what you do every day, then they come back and they enjoy what, what it is that we have to offer. I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries. Before you go, here are the nominations for the next episode of The Rough Draft Diaries. My choices would be the Wood County Park District and our friends at the Wood County Genealogy Society. And my vote would be for the Black Swamp Arts Festival going into its 25th year here in Bowling Green. You'll have to tune in to find out who I pick, but for now, I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening.